Ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to know that in the great tradition of the Public Policy Forum, it is our intention to end this dinner on time. We'll be out of here by 9.15 with a little cooperation. My notes say that I should have some applause here. <laughs> um, but um, before we start, I want to urge all of our speakers, our honorees this evening, to please be respectful of your time limits. And yes, that means you too, Premier Davis. <laughs> we will kick off the Public Policy Forum Awards dinner after dinner with William Grenville Davis, by any measure, one of the most successful and best-liked, most admired politicians in Canada, and I think one of the funniest as well. We will, we will also honour two extraordinary bankers, Gordon Nixon and Monique LaRue. They run very different organisations, but they've emerged from the financial crisis in terrific shape, and their respective organisations, RBC and Desjardins, were both ranked among the top 25 safest banks in the world in 2010. And our final Public Policy Forum Award winner this evening after dinner will go to Jim Stanford of the CAW, who is widely respected for his insights and widely appreciated for making the dismal science seem not so dismal. Before dinner, before we start dinner, we will present two very important awards. As you know, our custom is to recognize outstanding public policy journalism with the Hyman Solomon Award. This year will be the 20th presentation of this award. And this year, the Hyman Solomon Award will go to widely respected health journalist, author, and speaker, Andre Picard, who writes for the Globe and Mail. And ladies and gentlemen, our emerging leader this year is Victor Thomas, President of the Regina and District Chamber of Commerce. When the baby boomers finally pass the torch, people like Victor will be on the receiving end. And once you've heard from him this evening, I think you'll agree that we'll be in good hands, very good hands. We have a lot of ground to cover this evening, ladies and gentlemen, but before we get down to business, I would like you to know that over almost a quarter of a century now, the Public Policy Forum has honoured about 100 extraordinary leaders in Canada. And that's what this evening is all about. It's about leadership and recognizing Canadian leadership. It's about building better governments in Canada, which is really the Public Policy Forum mission. And we're extremely proud of our alumni, this group of 100 extraordinary leaders. Therefore, it is with some heartfelt sadness that I note that earlier this month, we lost one of the greats in Canadian public life, the Honourable Alan Blakeney, who was a long-time member of the Board of Directors of the Public Policy Forum, a co-chair of this dinner, and an honoree. We're going to miss him. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I want to remind you all that with us this evening is CPAC, the Canadian Public Affairs Channel, and they are taping tonight's dinner and all of the speeches and remarks. They will be broadcast in the days ahead, and um, this has become uh, one of the highlights of this dinner for all of those who cannot attend, who do not have the privilege of attending this dinner. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank CPAC for their coverage of our annual dinner and for their continued service to public life and public affairs and providing a window on governance in our country, especially during the current election campaign. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you our dinner's co-chairs. This year, we continue the great tradition of a provincial premier co-chairing the annual Public Policy Forum dinner. And I'm delighted to welcome the Honourable David Allward from New Brunswick. The premier, the premier CV is a little unusual, it's a little different than some. He was born in Massachusetts, moved as a youth to New Brunswick, just up the St. John River from Fredericton. 
He returned to the U.S. for his university studies, then spent 15 years in the Canadian Public Service before throwing his hat into the ring of the Progressive Conservative Party in 1999. He's been the MLA for Woodstock ever since. He joined Cabinet in 2003, became PC Party leader in 2008, and Premier last fall when his party won a majority of seats in the Legislature. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Premier David Allworth. <laughs> now, the other co-chair for this evening, I'm delighted to say, is Elise Allen. Elise began her career at GE in 1984, working in Canada, the US, and abroad. She then moved to Ontario Hydro and was president of the Toronto Board of Trade before returning to General Electric Canada in 2004 as president and CEO. As with our other co-chair this evening, Elise has strong ties to the New England states. Her BA in biology and environmental science and her MBA were earned at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire. She also shares a strong interest in public policy. Elise first served as a member of the board of the Public Policy Forum and also at the same time as a director of the C.D. Howe Institute. She was a member of the National Roundtable of the Environment and the Economy and also Finance Minister Flaherty's Advisory Committee. And last year, ladies and gentlemen, Premier McGuinty invited her to serve on the board of Metrolinx. And oh yes, in her spare time, she chairs the Canadian Chamber of Commerce Board. Elise, thank you for joining us this evening as co-chair. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, je vous souhaite une très agréable soirée et maintenant, il me fait grand plaisir de remettre la parole au Premier Ministre Alward. David Alward, I welcome you forward to take the chair.